So supposedly this can simplify to a single trig function and given all of the wild identities, that is not out of the realm of possibility. So let's see what can we do here. All right, in the numerator, let's see, we have cosine t minus sine t and that is squared. And we have a minus cosine t plus sine t all squared. So one option here is there is a formula for the uh, sum to angle or difference to angle. So that's a possibility. Or we could just square all this out and see what happens. All right, so we got a couple options there. Bottom sine of 2t, we could use the double angle formula on that. And then I would write the secant as 1 over cosine. So again, our options for the numerator are either carry out these squares and see what happens. And I'm tempted to do that. And then other option is the angle, the difference to angle or sum to angle, which was from section 7.2. So they're down here somewhere. Yeah. So we have sine minus cosine and sine plus cosine, right? Cosine minus sine and cosine plus sine. They don't list those here. For some reason I thought we had a formula. Oh, no, 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 I remember that formula. That was the crazier formula from here. Yeah, that's messy. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so I think our best cost of action is actually carry out those squares because there's no identity that easily matches from the the basic and the extended basic identities. Let's do it. So there's no shortcut for squaring a binomial like this. You got to multiply it by itself. So just doing this part first, that means I have to take the cosine of t minus sine of t times itself. Cosine of t minus sine of t. And we have to distribute. So I'm going to get cosine times cosine or cosine squared of t. And then, so that's this. And then I'm going to get cosine times negative sine. I'm also going to get sine times negative cosine, which is the same thing. So I'm going to get two of those sine of t, cosine of t. And then I have a negative sine times a negative sine, which is a plus sine squared of t. And the nice thing about that is the cosine squared plus the sine squared adds up to one. And then I have this minus two sine of t cosine of t. All right, so that's this one right here. And I probably shouldn't have switched color there. This one right here is gonna be pretty similar except there's gonna be a plus in the middle. So if I take cosine of t plus sine of t times itself, cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Oops. And then I'm gonna have cosine times sine and then sine times cosine, which are the same thing. So that's going to give me a plus two. I'm going to write it as sine times cosine. And then I'll have a plus um, sine squared, right? And like before, cosine squared plus sine squared is one. So those two give me a one and then plus two sine t, cosine of t. So that's this one right here. So I have the first one minus the second one. So <clears throat> I've got one minus two sine t, cosine t, minus, do a parentheses, this thing, 
one plus two sine t cosine t. We haven't even gotten to the bottom yet, but it's okay. And then we have to distribute this subtraction. So that means we're going to subtract the one. That's cool. That'll cancel that one. And we're going to subtract that, which means it's going to become negative. So I'll have a negative two sine cosine and then another negative two sine cosine. So the one subtract out and then minus two minus another two is going to give me a minus four sine t cosine t. <clears throat> So the numerator cleans up quite a bit. For the denominator here, so I've got some scratch work on the side. So this is still divided by twice sine of 2t. It's supposed to be a t, I know, slightly better. Secant of t. So this is divided by. So it's red to sine of 2t secant of t. And we can't cancel these signs because this one has a t and that one has a 2t. They don't match. So I got to do a little bit of work with the denominator. So let's go over here, my scratch paper. Let's see. Sine of 2t, we could apply the sine double angle formula. So I've got the 2 hanging out front times, and the sine double angle formula, so this part right here, is twice the sine of t times the cosine of t. Right, so that's that part right there. And then secant is 1 over the cosine, so times 1 over cosine of t. Well, that's nice because the cosines divide out here. So my denominator is this right here. All right, it's getting better. Let's bring that back in. So my numerator is negative 4 sine of t cosine of t. And we just discovered the denominator is 4 sine of t, and we're just about done. The fours divide out, the sines divide out, leaving negative cosine of t. We got it down to a single trig function. Man. Now, we could have tried to put all of this stuff in one big fraction, but that's a nightmare. So generally with these, I like to grab one part play with it, see what happens. Grab another part, play with it, see what happens, and then start bringing them back in and cleaning up. I find that to be a much more productive strategy. I make less mistakes when I do that. Different approaches. All right, so how could I check to see if that's right? Well, obviously you have the check answer button on the homework, but this were a test, you don't get that. Uh, the only way to check this really is to plug this whole monstrosity into a calculator and compare it to the cosine of t and see if they match. So I'm going to skip that part. But that is the only way to check this.